It was emotional, but I also knew I needed I needed to, I needed to take care of not only Kyle, but figure out what's going on here as quick as possible. Tonight, the off-duty officer who rushed to help Kyle Kraska right after he was shot in front of his home is telling us what happened during those moments. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. Tonight, our sports director is recovering from 10 gunshot wounds. Abby Alford is here now with some new information on one of the first people on the scene after the shooting. Abby? Barbara Lee and Carlo, the off-duty officer who helped Kyle before emergency crews got there says he's known our sports director for six years. He says what they said to each other in those intense moments is personal, but we know it helped keep our friend alive. Tuesday afternoon around 3 o'clock, off-duty San Diego Police Sergeant Scott Bartolome pulled into a Scripps Ranch driveway. And I heard what I believe from my training and experience, uh, five gunshots in rapid succession. He heard three more shots, grabbed his badge and gun, and ran to the chaos behind his home. And I see a male on the ground, and uh, he looked up and he yelled, Scott, help me. And I immediately at that time recognized it to be Kyle. The officer says he just worked out at LA Fitness with our CBS News 8 sports director Kyle Kraska 45 minutes prior to the shooting. They've been friends and neighbors for six years. It was a surreal moment for me, um, knowing one, knowing I just I, I, I knew there was a shooting. I could smell the gun, the gunpowder in the air um, and I could see the wounds on, on Kyle. Kyle had 10 gunshot wounds. His training as a 20-year officer and war veteran kicked in. At that point, I don't know if I had an active shooter. The sergeant's been ordered by the department not to talk about details of the investigation or what was said about the shooter on the scene, but he did tell us he knew he needed to keep Kyle awake. A shock will kill you just as easily as a, as a, as a wound will. The sergeant says he motivated Kyle. Both are from the East Coast, so they have that fire mentality. Keeping his attention off of what just happened and just to, you're bigger than this, you're better than this, and you're gonna survive. And just positive, positive, positive. Sergeant Bartolome says he was just doing his job, but had he not rushed to the scene at that moment, he knows Kyle may not be alive. It did go through my mind, and um, it was emotional. It was, um, it, it was, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I still had a job to do, and I stayed positive. Sergeant Bartolome says neighbors who also fearlessly helped, he said there was one woman who actually put a towel on Kyle before he got there, and even in all of this chaos, he was able to help keep her calm, and so were some of the other neighbors. And we know that he acted quickly, but the emergency response was very quick and thorough as well. He says, you know, he lives in Scripps, Scripps Ranch, but he's been a sergeant down in the Central Division, so he's kind of you've seen this chaos before in shootings, but nothing like this in his neighborhood, and he knows the officers there, too, don't really experience something like that as well and he says that they showed exemplary work and professionalism and says they really helped out too and they also need to be thanked absolutely all right thanks Abby thanks Abby